Bam, and welcome everybody to Legend of Keepers. Uh, so, at the moment we can only be the slaveholder. Uh, the way this game works is, um, are you familiar with games such as uh, Darkest Dungeon? Um, because we're doing the opposite of that. Um, there's a group of heroes that are coming to attack our base, and we are trying to mess them up. And so we set up a bunch of rooms, so here, there's a catapult full of skulls. Perfect. And that's going to do some kind of, you know, crazy debuffs and, and stuff to them. Uh, next up, we've got a little goblin on the front line. We've got a bow boy and birdo. Um, that's what they're called. Um, and then we can put down other traps like, oh, do we want a, tr a, a like a poison dart or a blade? Let's get like a poison dart with a big snake saw. Right now, Ooh, who are we going to put in this room? Like, Ice Lord, Axe Man, and let's go with Frickus, the Fire Skeleton. And then, here's us. If, you, if it doesn't make sense at the moment, don't worry. Like, it's going to make sense soon. All right, all right, all right. So, blammo, they walk into my room and instantly, Skull Launcher. That's right, they came to the wrong place. Um, so they turn up and they do attacks on us. Like, oh my god, they inst- Okay, this is bad. Um, they've instantly killed some of my dudes. Who's even in the party? Like some kind of like wizard, like a, a shooty person and a, a rogue missing an arm. So we've got to choose how we want to fight back. So at the moment we're all just like level one scrubs. So our guy's not super killy. Um, we, we hit them all with some bows. Um, they're taking some poison damage. Uh, so a bit like Darkest Dungeon, everyone has health, everyone has morale, and either we can force them to run away, or just like straight up kill them. Uh, so, right, they come into an empty room, which lets me cast a spell. So either I can cast this spell on that one, uh, make my next group of guys a bit fightier, try and hit them in the morale. Hmm, morale loss is doubled. We've gone for quite like a fighty group, so I'm gonna say show no mercy. Although they go in, someone's got a bit spooked, and blammo, we blast them. So yeah, we've got like our fight crew here. Um, so I think you kind of want to be building it with the idea in mind. Either you're going to scare them, or, oh my god. Or, you know, you're going to you're gonna kill them. Oh jeez, man. This is not super good. Oh, I could just almost kill their back person, or kind of mangle everyone killing their front guy. How much life do you have, friend? 22. So you're not going to get killed by the poison anytime soon. Both of our guys are going to get to fight, so I think... Let's go for that freezing breath. Uh, yeah, that kind of mangled all of them. And, right, either you guaranteed kill them. I should have planned this a bit better. I wasn't sure what his attacks were. Or Scream of Terror, like kind of spook everyone a bit. Do you want to spook them? Or do you want to fight them? I feel like they're spooking, because this guy's going to die from poison anyway, so let's roar at them. Give them a bit of a spooky, scary time. And bam, the poison got him. Ow! We got arrowed. Oh. So now you can go in and, like, hit with your cleaver. Chonk. Ooh, pretty good. Uh, you're bleeding and feeling sad, but... Ooh! You killed him. Now they have to fight me. Oh, jeez! <laughs> There's my beard, there's my axe, and have you never noticed my back legs? Is he wearing like little kind of like, you know, Italian shoes? Maybe. I think we just pow, just go straight in on the kill. Like, get out of here. You can see all my friends hanging in the background, just hanging out. And let's enslave them. Boom. We got them. We got them, everybody. Uh, we successfully protected the treasure. So now we can choose, do you want some free money? An ice breeze, oh, or Mehuth. Let's let's get her in the party. She looks great. Every turn, you're gonna pass through like a different week, um, and we get to choose different things that we want to do. Like, oh, have an event come up. We could train our guys to be a little bit better. Visit a merchant, maybe buy some stuff. Let's see what the event is. Ah, oh, workplace accident. Um, oh, sixty damage taken. Ouch, that's bad. Well, let's have another accident. The 
thigh supplier. <laughs> this guy is amazing. He looks so much like me. Um, a supplier is offering you some human thighs to feed your employees at a discount price. It greatly reduce your feeding expenses. Um, and you know the management would grant us a bonus. Okay, well I want to you know keep management happy. So, man, it is a lot of cash. But let's do it. Oh. Wait, we just got we got the money. That wasn't even costing us money. What is a course? Send one of our employees on intensive training course. Let's do that. Iceman? Shit, that money that we just like... Do you want to get the Yeti, like, going? Sure. I think, like, he always had, like, higher, you know, aspirations than just being a goon the entire time. You know, old Sasquatch there. What are you talking about? Uh, so, these guys, what is their deal? Wow, that dude's, like, pretty tanky. That guy's kind of flamey. So we can hit those guys in the morale and make my guys fight a bit better. That could be good. Or we can bone catapult them. Let's let's get the like little goblin with his horn. That sounds kind of kind of jokes. Uh, so we want kind of fightier people. Shit, these guys aren't like mega fighty. So I guess you can come in. What is your thing? You hit them in the morale. We're kind of like trying to do damage rather than um morale hits in that room because we gave them the, the buff just put straight up damage and everyone's bleeding sure right everyone's still level one maybe we should have been like upgrading people but it's fine um big old orco here i like the bow skeleton he's cool like toxic bow boy and fricus you want to come in sure like i'm kind of not really building this with like a mega strat in mind just i want my cool dudes coming down <gasps> Watch out, goblin! Burr, burr. <laughs> okay, now the kill squad. Oh, oh, he rejigged my positions. Oh shit, this dude's like totally naked. He's covering his dingus. Okay, hit all of them. Oh, and gives haste to monsters in front of me. That's why I put you at the back. Ah, yeah. Definitely, that's why I put you at the back. Let's let's like hit you with a spooky spooky wind and try and slow you down a bit. Right, my goblin. Me goblins. He can make people bleed, he can make people poison. Poison does better damage versus this dude. Weakness. Weakness to uh, poison. So yeah, let's get poison in there. Pow. Like, very good. That's a great start. And now my spooky ghost friend. You look great as well, with the, like, horrible tentacle maggots coming out of your mouth. Oh, let's, like, air damage that guy. Wow, okay. So we want to hit him with some ice, ideally. Oh my god, okay, that was bad. Um, oh, my boys, my beautiful boys. Okay, they're kind of getting poisoned and stuff. Right, fire damage. We could just try and get that guy killed really quickly. Mm, morale, not super good. Buff our guys. I think we just, like, try and kill off this dude, because the barbarian, classically pretty killy. Um, wow, he died before the buzzsaw even connected. So now they've got their, like, squishies, like, in the front line. Ooh. Orcos. So, what's yours? Nature kind of resistant to. That guy, very resistant. So neither of these are gonna do super well. I guess just dinking in that poison and that arrow and just kill him when the toy like, poison ticks in. Fear of the dead. Oh, this guy's cool, like the brawler with his like punching fire fists. I'm into that. Demoralize or oh, wow. Magic missile! Blammo! Holy shit! That guy was strong against nature, but not not against me. Okay, we get a free artifact. The mysterious screwdriver. Tips the chance the traps get multi-action, so I guess that means they activate again. 20% chance to get a random bonus on monsters. Enemies have 30% chance to be demoralized at the start. I kind of think like. Although 10% isn't a lot, I do like the idea that traps trigger a second time. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Right, we're pretty, we're okay on cash. So, engineer, we can upgrade a trap. Let's do that. Like, get this buzzsaw to, like, go up a little bit. Oh, man, we've actually spent all of our bucks. It was a lot of bucks, but I think it's okay. Uh, of course, we can't afford that. Train up. Shit, we should have planned ahead. There's no way that we've got the money to uh, level anyone up. So, oh, 
Okay, right, I don't even know what a business trip was. Uh, they'd like to send one of your employees with the sales department to be their bodyguard. I'll be compensated. Oh, so I guess the more badass they are, the more bucks. Do you want to go? Sector of Destiny. Oh, that's like a good item. But I don't know if I... Ah, fuck it. Why not? We only get a little bit of bucks, but that's fine. Plunder. Okay, so the Goblin, the Orc, and Old Fireman. The Flame Eater. Uh, there's a chance that people would get injured if they go here, get a little bit of bucks. A few more. Well, actually the same. Uh, okay, we got an artifact, maybe. And there is safer. Let's do this, the Haunted Crypt. Plunder it, my boys. Oh, Ragak, the Orc. Shit. Ten weeks in injury. Come on, Ragak. We're getting attacked again. Either adventurers come, or veterans turn up. And so veterans are going to be more badass than my regular adventurers. Uh, we could risk that, but I don't think our guys are, like, super ready. So I'm going to go in on just adventurers. And hopefully when we've, like, upgraded some of our dudes, we might be able to take on, take on the other guys. Uh, what have they got? Okay, that guy... Uh, so, Poison Dart at the front. If it's going to hit him, that'll be great. Because he's got, uh, like, a big weakness to Poison. Good job. I guess we'll have you... Have it a bit like this. Actually, wait. Do you want to put Frickus at the front and, like, little Goblin-O at the back? Yeah. Although they've got, like, a pretty healthy group, so maybe that isn't the right call. We'll see. Um, you are not tanky. Man, this is like a puny group. None of these guys are really, really good at surviving. Hopefully, we can do the killing at the end. Like, we sent away our big, like, ice guy. Blam. Okay, that was like a good, a good dink straight away. Oh, okay, they rejig me. Please don't kill my skeleton in one hit. Oh, they don't. Okay, poison dagger is good versus this guy. Let's do it. Just poison him up. Uh, 35 damage on his next turn. Youchy. Let's just... I'm gonna hit the person at the back. Like, I feel like we should focus. Ooh! Focus fire. Oh man, we always kill her with that. Or do a tiny little bit of spookums. Pow. Right. Oh man. Ooh! Oh, she healed and killed us all. No good. Uh, what do we want? Kill that guy at the front or buff our dudes? It won't kill him, but it'll hurt him, and hopefully the buzzsaw and the poison is going to take him down now. Okay, well, just the poison does. Okay, getting them down to, like, two people, that feels pretty strong. Um, scale... Or Spectral. Well, I guess that's just kill the person at the back. Yeah, I'm 100% into that. Okay, I thought this was going to go a lot worse because we've lost kind of like our like frontline fighty people. But not terrible. Okay, air damage. You don't like, you don't love being hit with the air, old air. So let's do it. Donk. Wow, man, just like super raked by horns. Ooh, man, it's a big hit. Oh, fire damage is kind of trash. Uh, adds two stacks to the penalty with the most stacked on each hero. Okay. Whatever that is. Um, wow, I'm pretty sure that you are just gonna, um, just hit him with, like, your orbital laser cannon. Yes, please. Pew, pew. Management's either gonna give us some money. This guy, who looks amazing... Oh, her. She looks pretty fucking good as well. I mean, I want this guy. Bohawk. Uh, he just sounds like a stone-cold killer right there. Uh, we've got a bit of money. Not a ton. We could go to the merchant and maybe buy stuff. Maybe we vis do visit the trainer. Like, Bohawk, how much are you going to cost? 250 bucks? Is everyone super expensive? Yeah, we can only upgrade one person. Um, I think Bohawk, he just turned up. Come on in. I want like a like a big frontline fight boy. Let's spend some time at the gym. Is that for me? Yeah. Why not? 
I lose tears. I lose blood and gold if I get power. Regeneration. I'm a little bit dinged up. I feel like power. Let's get this. Yeah. I've got some blood. I've got no tears. I've got some cash. Why not? Since I'm on a business trip, well, let's, let's have another event. Oh, Alchemist. It's like a little rat boy. Uh, you've caught the lab assistant, one of your artifacts. Ready to try transmutation, of course. He hasn't asked your permission, and you can see a book next to him saying Alchemy for Dummies. Um, 20 chance peaches, creatures get in range when they're attacked. Uh, it sounds okay, but they have to have been attacked, so fire him. Okay, there's goons turning up. Right, we're ready. Let's do this. Um, straight up, they're kind of like the sort of fighty, fighty party. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Oh, our boy's back. Oh man, okay, well, let's get like just full fight mode going. Yes. Uh, if I'd have known that, we probably should have like done the old enrage ability on them. Um, you guys are all a bit puny, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with this guy because he can attack rather than this dude who's kind of more of a spooky ghost. Uh, we're, I feel like we're generally leaning into like the damage rather than the spookums. Not that one is worse. Blammo. <gasps> oh, we got the double. That item was so worth keeping. I'm so glad we fired that dirty little rat boy. Oh, Frosty. Oh, after all your training and you went on your special course. Oh, God, that's not good. Fireball. Well, Blamo. Almost gonna kill her. <gasps> the bleeding got her. Okay, right. Ooh, we could stun. There's a good chance that you'll just die this turn. 38 damage. I reckon it's probably worth it. The chance to get a stun off. We stunned him. Nice. Okay. Wow, this group. Oh shit, okay. Bono. Uh, uh, I wish that we could like wait. Wait like a turn because the bleeding will definitely kill you and then this guy might just kill me. Well, just hit him with the giga attack. Um, ow. That's bad, but not too bad. Wild Strike is pretty good. We'll try a stun, because whatever the attack is next turn, we'll definitely get the kill, assuming we survive. Man, Bowhawk. The big ball boy. Oh, I love him. Uh, blam! Okay. Pretty good. We successfully protected the treasure. Nice. What do you want? Poison Cloud? A furnace? Just some more cash money. Um, I think let's get... Let's, I might just take the cash cash money. Because we've already got some traps. That seems okay. Right, we don't have enough money, so we might need to go a plundering. Next dungeon. 100% all monsters are enraged. 100% chance one volunteer. One of these dudes. I'd be sad if my, my archer gets killed. But not the others. Is that good? Like, because maybe then we do like a harder dungeon. Okay, right. It's like the spooky boy. That's fine. We only got a little bit of gold. But I'm okay with that. Okay, do we take on the adventurers? We've still got some of our badasses here. I think, I think we give it a go. We're just hoping for that double trap to come up. Right, either something that will make them like a bit more sad. We're gonna go with the damage because these two are kind of puny. This guy, he's not covering his dick anymore. He's got, he's got like a thing to do that for him. Like a bit of cloth. Pants, I think they call them. <laughs> come on, double spin. Nice. Okay, it wasn't a double spin. Okay, right, rejig me. That's sad. Um, oh, my spooky ghost. Okay, that pyro guy might just annihilate us straight up. So, this hits everyone. Kind of not terrible damage. Or just a little dig to them. I think that, because these guys both hate air, and, like, they're both on half HP already. Plus, like, they've got some bleed. Ooh, okay, right, well... <gasps> Oh my god, he lived on three health. Okay, swing in. Ugh, that's not great. Fuck, maybe we scare him off. 
Like, he's down to, like, half his, half his, like, fear. Ouch. Orcos. And, I'm sorry, bat boy. You're dead. You're dead. They killed you. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we're doing poison darts. Well, it gives us options. Ow. Okay, thank you. So, you can go in and do a poison. Yeah, man, poison is so much better. The bleed is okay, but I think we just keep that poison going. So next turn, 35 damage. Ooh, that hurt. That really hurt. Scream of Terror or Cleave? I think we get that scream as just a way to try and get this guy out of the fight. Ouch. Stun him. Fuck, we, we kind of like have changed what we're doing every single time we attack him. Oh no. My boy. My big beautiful attack boy. Uh, just stab, like... That poison is going to kill him next time, I think. Oof. Okay. Blammo. Uh, burning Whip. Wow, that just instant, instantly kills that dude. Or we scare them a tiny bit. I think we just flambe your boy. And it's just the dude, the little pyromaniac. Like, ouch. He set fire to my, my horse dong. But... Pow, like, that whip is so big. We just cut that dude in half. Pow, well, that was Legend of Keepers, everybody. Um, the game is free to play at the moment, so go and check it out. Um, it's only sort of like a demo of the full game, but it's on Steam, and honestly, I think it's really good. Uh, see ya! My name's Bohawk, and I like killing people. I'm gonna hit the enemy. Just like I'm going to hit that like button. Ha ha ha. It's got a weakness to Cheeto dust. And I've got that all over my fingers. If you want to see more, maybe let Tom know. Goodbye. Bohawk. Ha ha ha.